Hey guys, want to give a quick update to the prototype of my latest neck knife design. A little EDC utility blade I'm working on. Uh, still haven't come up with a dedicated name for it yet. Uh, i got a couple ideas I'm throwing around in my head. But at any rate, I wanted to show you where we're at pre-heat treat. Or uh, just about ready for heat treat. And uh, also what the final blade is pretty much going to look like. As you can see uh, from the first video I posted, I have added quite a bit. Uh, and I'll also say this is not even the original prototype or the blank that I showed in the first video. Uh, unfortunately, I had a little bit of a mishap with that one as I was grinding the faces flat on my grinder. I accidentally let it suck down in between my table and I gouged out the tip pretty bad on that. So I uh, ended up throwing that one out, <coughs> making a new one. Uh, with only some minor changes in design, uh, the most significant thing being that this back part or the heel of the handle is just a little bit wider. And the blade is just a little bit narrower. Uh, that I'm not sure if I'll uh, do on future iterations of this design. Uh, I may widen that back out like the original prototype. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good as is, nevertheless, and uh, a little bit more proportional as well uh, with that wider back part. And the uh, biggest reason I did that was just to give a little bit more uh, secure of a grip, a little more something to put into the palm, uh, whether forward or reverse, uh, to fill the hand a little bit more since this is such a small knife. Uh, but the other thing I went ahead and did, as you can see, I uh, drilled out some holes in the handle. Uh, just a real basic design, nothing too original there. Just a couple different size holes with some chamfered edges. Got a little bit of a lanyard hole there on the end. Uh, but of course you also have the option of wrapping the handle or running a decorative lanyard through these holes as well. Uh, similar to how I've done my possum skinners, if you've seen those videos. And another thing I decided to add, kind of last minute, was some jimping on the thumb ramp as well as the top side of the knife, just to aid in the security of the grip. Uh, and it really does quite a bit to enhance that grip and give a little bit more confidence there uh, because this is such a small blade and you can really only get about two fingers around it. But uh, I wanted to add some jimping on the top as well, uh, maybe to help in the... Uh, index finger grip or in a leverage thumb grip and uh, I think that really adds quite a bit of function to the knife. Uh, as you can see I also went ahead and ground my bevels. Uh, these are just rough grinds. Uh, everything's done to a 220 grit satin finish uh, which will probably be close to what I take the final blade after I heat treat it. I uh, may polish it up just a little bit more, have not decided on that yet. But this is essentially what the finished blade will look like, uh, minus the sharpened edge and a little bit of a notch there at the Ricasso. So I uh, just wanted to give that quick update for you guys, see what you thought about the additions uh, now that it's come to life a little bit more and looks more like a knife. Uh, definitely appreciate the positive feedback on the design thus far. Uh, definitely would appreciate some more uh, on what you think about this one. So that's that guys. Just a quick update. Uh, we may try to heat treat this tomorrow uh, depending on how busy I get. So thanks for watching guys.